What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pump Shoes. First and foremost, go to pumpshoes.com, get your athletic performance stringer, get you some joggers, use sock 10 at checkout. Sock right? 10, man, y'all know the code. I'm like a pump right now. We're taking to the gym, get some curls. Ah, some of that shit in, she gonna be whoop. Let she over cooking on though. Man, it's been a while since I did a recipe video. I actually have three to share with you guys. This right here, you're gonna absolutely love it. It's for my low carb dieters. Now, don't be fooled by a lot of these motherfuckers on YouTube dieting on 300 grams of carbs and all this bullshit. The majority of people don't have great metabolisms. When I diet, I typically do in between 150 to 200 grams of carbs. I don't diet on a lot of carbs. I can't. I just get fat. Now, I have some clients that can diet on 300 carbs. Then I have some some clients carb cycling. You know what I mean? Uh, some clients on low carbs through the week, one high carb day, you know, through the week. You know, one high carb day with six low carb days. Everybody's different. We have different lifestyles and we have different genetics and we have different metabolisms. I'm looking out for my low carb guys. This is a great low carb recipe. I've been doing this pretty much every other day. Check it out. Now, the kitchen's a mess. We literally just came from the grocery store. We got to push it away. But I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I want to get this video to the people, to my people. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of my people, what a fucking light set, my people. We trying to get the five hundred K subs. I'm back on the grind. I need your support. This I can't point. get there, motherfucker. That support me. Support me. Give me a like so we can go to the top. Pump should belong five hundred K or more. Let's fucking make it happen, my people. God damn it. <laughs> so over here, we're gonna start with some onions. Obviously, if you don't fucking like onions, disregard the onions. I love onions. Fun fact, 100 grams of onions is 10 grams of carbs. You know, I always tell you guys, don't track your veggies. You don't got to track your spinach. You don't got to track your fucking lettuce and all that shit. You should track your onions, though. These motherfuckers carry carbs like them. And Brussels sprouts. I didn't know that until a year ago. That shit packs carbs. Sweet peas. You better track that, too. <laughs> Those bitches track carbs. All right, so I'm gonna go. I already know somebody's gonna say something about how I cut my onion. Fuck you in advance. <laughs> I cut my motherfucking onion where I don't want to fucking cut it. Okay? <laughs> shit, this is how I get my shit. People always they always pay attention to the little whoa, shit. Whoa, they shit always look for the little. Mouth. They sit there in your mouth. They always know that's something to say about the little yeah, shit. Yeah, are you, are you motherfuckers? You know, cut shut the fuck up. <laughs> my motherfucking onion where a motherfucker wants to. <laughs> shit. So I cut some of that shit up off the excess shit, you know what I mean? Straight up. Right? <laughs> I, you feel me? Some of this shit you don't need. See that white, that good white shit? That's what I'm trying to get. I just get up over here, you know what I mean? There you go, bam! I want 40 grams of onion. Save some onion for later. 40 grams on the dot. Save a little onion for later, for the next time, you feel me? And what I'm gonna do is, I got my skillet on. You see that? Throw it on there. Mm -hmm. I hope it sounds good. I'm learning too, y'all. I know Shit. some of the ladies out there like, damn, this nigga swole. He got a nice home he can cook. <laughs> hey, hey, what right more? Here, man. What more do you want? <laughs> there, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's sister in law right there with the baby. Yeah. Hey, cookie shit. For the record, she do do a lot of cooking. We very appreciate Denise. But today, <laughs> we give her a break. But for the video, I'm gonna cook. We give her, right. hey, we give her a break. She getting a break. It's ladies' day today. Check this out right here. We even gonna do the dishes. Oh, maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> My daddy always said, don't make promises you ain't gonna keep. <laughs> gonna use that pan butter. Ooh, smell that pan, man. Oh, that Ooh. shit smells good. Yeah, I know, I know. We cooking with Crisco. Got a pound of 96.4 lean beef. Don't go any leaner than that. It tastes like motherfucking beef jerky. 96.4 is the leanest you want. Now, if you got a little more fat in your diet, maybe go 93.7. But 96.4 is good, trust me. Alright, go ahead and open it up with the whole thing in. Depending on how much protein you need a day, that depends how much beef you're going to use. Me personally, I do 10 ounces cooked. You know, fun fact, my protein is very high. My protein is well over 200 grams a day when I'm trying to stay lean. High protein diets are great for keeping you lean. 
Shit, also because how hard you work out, intense. Now when I'm bulking, I go about one gram per pound of body weight, you feel me? But when I'm leaning out or trying to stay lean, I keep it at about, you know, over 200. I would say the number, I am like dealing with the hippies right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> keep the hippies out your motherfucking business. So you know it's well over 200. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is break it down, okay? Break that shit down. Break that shit down. Break that shit down. Break that shit down. I, you already know what I'm doing. I'm breaking this shit down. Right. Get you some of these motherfucking Miss Dash. Salt free. So you can add a lot of flavor without a whole bunch of excess sodium. Alright? Put as much as you want. This shit tastes delicious. That tomato and basil has almost a spaghetti sauce taste. Sodium free. Throw a lot up in there. And like I said, just because I got sodium free seasons don't mean I'm scared of salt. Look. I want to throw some salt in here. It's just... We don't do it in excess. You know what I mean? I got salt in there. We ain't scared of no salt. You know what I mean? But when you want some extra flavors without making your sodium go to 8,000 milligrams a day, <laughs> get you some Miss Dash and throw in with your shit. And one more seasoning, guys. This is the Southwest Chipotle. Mrs. Dad, that focused? Yeah. All right, check this out. This is good too, man. I love flavors, man. So look, I'm gonna cook this meat well done till all the pink is gone. Turn the onions off, they're already ready. And we'll see you in about four minutes. Bam, turn the stove off. Check it out. Oh shit! <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Alright, so meat's ready, right? People ask me all the time do you track your meat raw or cooked? Tracking your meat is always best cooked. All right. Now you can do raw weight, and I do do raw weight when I'm doing steaks. If I'm doing a sirloin steak, I'll ray it raw, like an eight ounce steak, and then I'll cook it, I'll go with the raw weight macros. But it's always more accurate to go with cooked weight macros. All right, check it out. I'm gonna do 10 ounces of beef, because I'm hungry, and like I said, my protein is hot. All right, so I'm gonna do 10 ounces of beef. Now check this out. That was a whole pound of meat I just cooked, right? Look at this shit. I'm gonna put 10 ounces in here. Look at this shit. Almost all that meat is gone. That's why it's always best to just go with cooked weight. Cause let's say you, you go with eight ounces uh, raw macros, that might be only six ounce cooked weight. That might be only five ounce cooked weight. You don't know till you cook the water out of it. I know for a fact, I'm getting 10 ounces of straight protein in this bitch. I'm not guessing, I know what I'm getting. Cooked weight, man. So we got 10 ounces of meat in here. Come over here, cameraman. We got those 40 ounces of onion. Look at them onions, they're all burnt up. That's why I like them. Shit! You know what? This right here alone, I can eat that by itself. I ain't even, no capping. <laughs> I can't I can eat yeah. this shit with a ketchup. Shit! <laughs> Just like this. So, we got the onions and the meat. Check it out. Before we finish the video, let me give a big shout out to my homie. Natural Pro. I'll be going to get my Natural Pro card pretty soon, too. Uh, Natural Pro, Chris Elkins. He actually gave me this recipe. I'm looking for the thing. But his recipe is called the Big Mac recipe. And you have to use this sauce to make it happen. And let me tell you, it tastes just like a fucking Big Mac. However, one serving of this, which is 15 grams, is 3.5 grams of fat. So that's pretty much 10 grams of fat if you do three servings. And if you like me, you like your shit saucy, it takes three servings to make this shit taste like something, you know what I mean? That's 10 grams of extra fat. Now, if you're on a diet that requires you to get 40, 50, 60 grams of fat, you don't want to waste on no fucking sauce. So, I change it up and turn it into a cheeseburger. Alright? So, this is a cheeseburger bowl. So, we got the meat and onion, right? Bam. Let me show you how we're going to do this. One slice of 2% cheese. Everything I got from Walmart. You just go to Walmart and get this to a Walmart Chris Jones sent you. Walmart ain't that sponsor. <laughs> the only company that sponsored me. Other than that, I ain't taking no fucking sponsor. <laughs> you feel me? Sponsor my goddamn self. So, one slice of this shit. Macros in the description, people. Bam! That hot meat gonna make that shit just melt up in there. Alright? Then, 
We got fat free cheese. I know my homies in the UK like, you fucking bloke, you fucking American motherfuckers. You get all the, hey man, gotta move to the America. You know in UK, they don't have a lot of those fat free things. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right? fat free cheese. Extra protein. Now why do I not just do only fat free cheese? Because to be honest with you, fat free cheese doesn't taste all that great alone. You know, so you want the texture of cheese with good taste, do a do a little bit of half uh, low fat cheese and then do a little bit of fat free cheese to give you that texture and taste. All right, so one serving of fat free cheese is 28 grams. Come on in. So 28 grams in here. Bam. That was the first try. <laughs> oh, bad mother. I've been doing this so goddamn long, man. I know what 28 grams feel like. I have all this shit. I just, I just grabbed 28 grams. Uh, man, I do this shit, man. I ain't no, I ain't no fucking pretender. I do this shit. All right, let's get a spoon. What we're gonna do is get the spoon and just kind of get the meat up in there, so so it can heat the cheese up. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, it's gonna work. It's gonna do what it's do. Don't worry, it's gonna do what it do. Now, let's go get that cheeseburger feel. All right, have you ever been to McDonald's? They use ketchup and mustard, right? Not just mustard, not just ketchup. They use both. Come on in, camera man. No sugar added ketchup. Regular ketchup each serving is like five grams of carbs. Okay. If you like me and you love ketchup, that can add up to 15 to 20 grams of carbs from some ketchup. Yeah. You get this shit, it's only one gram of serving. Somebody calling me? Anyway, it's only one gram of serving per serving, right? So check it out. I can do about four servings. One serving, 16 grams. Let's go. And to be honest, I'm just doing it for the video. I don't even track the ketchup, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just going to put it till I'm satisfied. That's about four servings of ketchup right there. So look at the bowl. That's how four servings look. That's only four grams of carbs. Now, if that was regular ketchup, that would have been an extra 10 grams of carbs or so. Then we get the mustard. There you go, mustard and ketchup, right? Get that, stir it up. So we got the mustard and ketchup, onions and cheese. Somebody gonna ask how many carbs the mustard got in it. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Y'all should know this, guys. It's a mustard, it's a mustard seed. Make a little bit of vinegar or some shit. Ain't nothing in mustard. Put as much as you want. Look at that. That's all. I can eat this shit just like this. Not even bullshitting you. Now we know hamburgers got pickles, right? Get some pickles up in here. I like jalapenos too. Get some pickles, look at this. Come on in, show them how we doing it. Throw some pickles in that bitch, man. Look at that. Ooh, shit. Now, stir it up again. Motherfuckers gonna think you full of shit, man. They gonna be like, that shit can't be healthy, man. man. It tastes like some restaurant type shit. They gonna think you full of shit. Man, I, you, I, I wouldn't do this to you guys. <laughs> what bullshit, look at that shit. I can eat this just like this. Now, throw some lettuce, cause we know hamburgers got lettuce, right? Just a little handful. This is one of the things you don't have to track, is pickles and lettuce, guys. Look at that, nice cheeseburger bowl. And it's delicious. And that's how you make it, guys. Low carb treat for you. Macros in the description, guys. I want you to make this today, tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. <laughs> And tag, next week. <laughs> tag me on Instagram. Tag me. Show me you appreciate me. Let the world know about me. And most of all, like this fucking video. The beast is fucking back. I want you to show me your support. And I'm going to show you your support by coming at you with this motherfucking heat every week. All right? This is fucking pumped, goddamn. Woo! This is what we got. This is fucking pumped. Yeah. See, the kitchen versus now. Man, if I can walk around with this pump just everywhere... That'd be amazing. That's from the hamburger uh, uh, meal you made. Peak moving. Man, I'm on pack maximum pump right now. Chest on swole, everything on swole. Oh, sock on swole. God damn it. Turn to the side. Give a oh, side shot. I'm coming again. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is what happens when you train with high volume, man. Hey, man. Lots of sets, lots of reps. I'm on the way, man. I'm humble. Don't oh, I'm most definitely. Way. I'm trying to catch y'all. Oh, man. Sock <laughs> away fucking around. I told y'all. Don't let Sock out work y'all, man. All right, guys. One more thing. We're in the movie room right now. About to start a little Game of Thrones. Keep in mind, Sock being gone like 10 years. He never seen Game of Thrones. Never so don't it, ruin man. it for him, please. Let the, let the nigga enjoy the show. Oh, God man. damn. I see why everybody fuck with the Game of Thrones. Yeah. Man. He's loving it right now. We're on season three. So right here, I got another bowl. 
And this time, since I got more fats left, I did the Big Mac sauce. I did three servings. That's 10 grams of fat alone just from the sauce. So it tastes amazing. But like I said, if you don't have the fats, use ketchup and mustard instead. But the Big Mac salad is the truth with the Big Mac sauce. Y'all have a nice day. Peace. <laughs>